What is woke? The right hijacked the word woke some years back and used it to describe the extreme left. Woke was officially added into the dictionary in 2017, and its definition is listed as to be awake to sensitive social issues such as racism. However, the word and its use date back to at least a 1962 New York Times article, phrases and words you might hear today in Harlem. A black novelist, William Melvin Kelly, wrote the earliest known use of the word in this context in an article titled, If You're Woke, You Dig It. In 1972, in a play by Barry Beckham, Garvey Lives, a character says, he'll stay woke, with the line, I've been sleeping all my, my whole life, and now that Mr. Garvey done woke me up, I'm going to stay woke, and I'm going to help wake up other black folk. In modern day, the word also was used by YouTube conspiracy theorists to describe they were in the know on a subject or theory. Other close definitions are well-informed, up-to-date, these two are still acceptable today as definitions of the word. You can see how crazy this one word's journey through existence has been. Woke is both a subculture and internet subculture that attempts to make minority issues displayed as majority issues, and those issues be labeled as normal and or everyday facts. Try to take a bad idea that is already widely accepted as a bad idea, change some of the attributes that define the idea as bad and make that seem good, and chastise others who do not follow suit. There you have it. One, anyone cannot demand a thing to be real just because they want it to be real. That isn't how concepts are brought into existence and become part of our reality. There is a process for that, and the woke ideology does not want to learn, work in, towards the process. They want to invent their own process that fits the path of least resistance. Herded tribalism cannot reverse engineer critical thinking, logic, and common sense to fit different groups' narcissistic delusions that whatever they feel like when they wake up in the morning dictates what truth a fact is, what right and or wrong is conceptually on a daily basis. When culture decided Demanding feelings come before logic and teaching kids to lash out using their feelings in a militant way is the extreme opposite of what we should teach young humans how to behave to become adults. If you want to be heard, you must be loud, expressionful, and militant. This includes acts of defiance, hateful words like reverse racist comments, and now perverted into violence, with these people gaining access to firearms or destruction of property.